So we want to get a kid's perspective on comic books, reading comic books, what they like, what they don't like, what makes up a good team, uh, boy characters, girl boy characters. We're going to talk about Black Widow. That did not happen, but it's still a fun interview. I hope you enjoy this. This is definitely silly. Hey everybody, this is Perch. I'm here with my daughter. Uh, say hi. Hi! Yep, and we're going to talk about Black Widow. Are you? Do you like Black Widow as a character? Maybe. Maybe. I like Luffy and Midoriya and Sergeant Frog a lot better. A lot better. Okay, so we got a manga. We got a, a, a daughter who likes manga and anime. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. I want to go to the Luffy Tower thingy. In the Tokyo Tower? Yes. A lot of people don't know about this, but in Japan, in Tokyo, there's the Tokyo Tower. It looks kind of like, uh, what does it look like? Awesome! Yeah, it no, but awesome. what does the building look like? A tower. A tower. Like the Eiffel Tower? No. Eiffel Tower is too tall. It, tower. it looks like the Eiffel Tower, actually. Oh. Except it's kind of red. Anyway, it's called the Tokyo Tower. And, and it in, has lots of Luffy stuff in it. Yes, in the Tokyo Tower, they have the uh, One Piece exhibit. And in the One Piece exhibit, they have the One Piece characters. Like, uh, which which characters do they have there? Uh, they have Nami, Zoro, Sanji, Usopp, Luffy. Um, and the others. I just watched a YouTube video about it. So I they, they maybe have Arlong. I hope they have Arlong. And that fat, ugly one, woman who ate the smooth, smooth Fruit. Yeah. Um, and maybe that smoky guy. Captain Smoker? Yeah. Yeah. We should have, uh, we could just make a video about One Piece. Yeah. We should do that next time. No, but this is about Black Widow, so the kind of the history of Black Widow, and so I thought I'd explain the history of Black Widow to you. Does that sound good? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Because we're getting a Black Widow movie. Are, now, are you, are you excited to see the Black Widow movie? I want to see the Luffy movie. Okay, but how about Black Widow? Maybe. Maybe. Have you seen the trailer at all for Black Widow? No. Yep. You haven't? I, I forgot. You forgot? Okay. It, it's a memorable... This is the. This is phase four of the MCU. We can see how, how well it's connecting with kids. Are, do you like the Marvel movies? Have you seen many of them? No. Yep. But you've said, I, I've seen the one where the Avengers all fight each other. I've seen part of that one. Part of that one. Civil War? Yeah. Where Giant Man throws the plane? And where Spider-Man does a... Uh, a diary. A diary. Okay. A YouTube diary. A YouTube diary. Yep. Um, excellent. That's far from home, I think, actually. Anyway, uh, no, that's not far from I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, Homecoming. Home uh, Spider-Man no Homecoming. Coming out. That's, that's correct. All right, we've got it settled. Anyway, Black Widow. So Black Widow, um, that's actually a character that's been around for a really long time. Um, that's, a, I think, back in the... 60s, I think we actually had the Black Widow. The 60s were before I was born. Okay. Yeah, so that's a long time ago. So Black Widow is actually one of the... If you were born in the 60s and were living now, you'd be an old geezer. That's right. An old, old geezer. That's, that's really nice of you, yes. <laughs> uh, so Black Widow actually uh, came as kind of a Russian spy character. Now, do you know about Russia? Uh, no. no. I, know, I know about Hitler. Okay, well, Hitler's not Russia. Oh. Yeah, no, this, this is Russia. This is the this is the American school system right here, folks. Uh, this is Russia is a country, of course. You know Russia, the country. Yeah. Okay, that's the big one, the really big one near China, sorta. Asia's the bigger one, or Africa. Or okay, those are continents. Oh. <laughs> All right, and no problem. Okay, so anyway, Black Widow was a Russian spy, and we didn't know much about her other than she's kind of. Um, uh, spyish. She was spyish. That's right. She was sneaking around and trying. She was kind of uh, but being she, a black widow. She, right, because black widows. What do black widows do? Sneak around and bite people and like give them deadly diseases. Right. They're not that deadly though. They just they usually need a couple of shots, which I don't like shots. Yeah, nobody likes shots. So anyway, the character originally uh, was kind of connected to Hawkeye some at the beginning, but really. Wait, Hawkeye the... and Hawk for the, the one that Zoro fought. No, not One Piece. Back the Avengers. The Avengers. Oh. The Avengers. So, oh, okay. uh, <laughs> Black Widow 
was uh, part of the Avengers. There's a lot of Hawkeyes. There, there are a couple of Hawkeyes. Well, yeah. There, do you know? Do you know that there's a guy Hawkeye? A Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Yeah. There's Sockeye. There's Sockeye salmon. Uh, there's Hawkeye. And there's, there's and, Sockeye, the guy in the chest drink with the tiny buggy. Okay, and then like let's drink sake and get drunk together. That's sake. Oh, sake. Anyway, so ha uh, Hawkeye, and then there's a new Hawkeye, which is um, uh, she is kind of going to take over for the old Hawkeye. Oh. So what they did is they had an old guy can, who was Hawkeye. Turning the boy Avengers into girl Avengers. Do you like that? Why don't they keep the boy Avengers? <laughs> I swear. By the way, for people who are listening, I did not tell her to say this. This is all her own thinking. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Why? I like Hawkeye and better. Yeah, but why do you... Why? Wait, what's the problem with turning the Boy Avengers into Girl Avengers? Uh, well, like, Boy Avengers into Girl Avengers, now it's just going to be all girls. But what's wrong with that? Well, there was all boys, now there's all girls. Stop doing all boys and then all girls. Do, like, five girls and five boys. Yeah, that seems more fair. That's fair. Well, back up, believe it. It is fair. It is more fair. It is, but back in the old, old days, back before I was born. Back um, when you would have been no geezer. Yeah, okay. So back then, you actually had, I mean, it was still more boys and girls on the team, but you had Iron Man, and you had Captain America, and you had Thor, right? And you had Giant Thor Man. the God of Hammers. The, the God of Hammers, sort of. Um, God of Lightning, actually, but uh, God of Thunder, I should say. Um, but you also had the Wasp. The Wasp was a uh, was a few, was a girl character, and you had Black Widow, and you had Scarlet Witch. I don't like Wasp. They hurt. I once had one in this in this uh, place. I saw this one in a place, and Dad sprayed it. Yep, and killed it. Yeah, and then we went and we hid inside his office, and all the Wasp were like, "Hey, what are you doing, you old geezers?" Yeah, you like that word. Where'd you learn that word? Somewhere. Okay. Anyway, so Black Widow uh, hung out for a long time. It's kind of this, she didn't have superpowers. She was just like super spy powers, and she also had a lot of acrobatics. She was kind of, they would call it enhanced strength, but not like Spider-Man or Captain America. She was just very, she was. A, she had a lot of gymnast skills. I, I like, sp I'm good at spying too. When my sister's not around, she's going to the potty. I go into her room. And I hide in her top bunk that's full of stuffies, and I eat cookies, and then she finds me, and she's like, get out of my room, you I'm, bubby. This is great for people. This is a video about Black Widow, I just want to point out. So anyway, um, so she, uh, Black Widow, she kind of didn't do much with the Avengers for a while. She would just kind of come and go on the team. Um, and she was not one of Marvel's main characters, but then when they did the movie... Uh, that for whatever reason, they decided Black Widow, I think for money, honestly, they put Black Widow in the first Avengers movie. She's also an Iron Man because she was kind of uh, connected with Iron Man back a long time ago. But they, um, they, they put her in there because she didn't have a lot of flashy powers. They didn't have to use, I think, CGI. That's my theory anyway. Because the Wasp, you know, you saw the movie with Ant-Man and the Wasp, right? Yeah, but my theory is... They had too many boys. And they need some girls. I do think that's right. They do need some. They did need some some girls, and but they didn't want to spend the money on giving the girls flashy powers like they Iron Man. They want all their cold hard cash. They don't want to give away the cold hard cash. That's right. That is the Disney way. That Disney likes to keep their cash. But anyway, so uh, Black Widow. They basically let her kind of leap around, and then she had some, like, things on her wrist that could give out the Black Widow's bite or the sting, which would, like, like electrical blast, like, kind of zap people right in the bump. Right in the cold, hard butt. That's right. So, anyway, so then the, when the Black Widow came out in the movie, then suddenly she started showing up more in the comics. And then now she's had several comics, but the comics keep getting canceled. Now, why do you think that is? No ideas. Nope. Do you like? Do you ever read the Black Widow comic? No. Well, that's probably why it gets I canceled. I play Roadblocks instead. Yeah, that, that's true. So this probably the fact that, but now you as a a girl, how old are you? Nine. Yep. Now Marvel would love for you to read their comic books. They they're trying to get. Uh, young kids, especially kind of your age, to read their comic books because kids are the future, right? You're going to grow up and then I'll be like an old kids man. Kids are awesome. 
Yeah. And you'd be an old geezer. I'll be, yes, an old geezer. And so they want you to read the comic books. But what is it that would cause you to to read the comics? Like what what would what would be a comic book you would read? What do they what did they need to do to get you to read their comics? Uh, comic where the Avengers weren't people; they were just animals. Like Captain America was Captain Silly Duck. Uh huh. Okay. Captain Wasp was a wasp. Bumblebee was a bumblebee. Okay. <laughs> Bumblebee's a transformer. Uh, yeah, not an Avenger, but it could be. So you want the Avengers to be animals, then you would read it. But if that's the case, then why do you like like My Hero Academia and One Piece? And they're not animals. Uh, Avengers has a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense, and in My Hero Academia and One Piece, they have more stuff that makes sense, like a lot of laughing, a lot of punching people in the butts, and a lot of making people fly through the air and get eaten by giant. Um, maniac birds. Yeah. And making kids fly through the air on giant slides made of ice while going under rings of fire. Yeah. So those things make sense. Yes. Okay. A lot more. A lot more. A lot more than the Avengers. Yes. All right. Well, we didn't really do a video on Black Widow. Okay. I think I think we missed the boat on that one, but we did talk a little bit about a kid's perspective on comic books and characters and and everything else. So, what it let me ask you this. Do you think that you're a uh, little girl? Not that little. Nine-year-olds. That's not. You're not a little girl anymore. Not. You're not a little girl. You're a little sister's little girl, right? She's a little annoying little girl. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So she's a little girl. And um, do you think that there's a difference? Like if, if, if you had a brother and God knows. Very no, annoying little girl. There are no more kids coming into our house. But if you had a brother. Do you think the brother would like the Avengers while you like My Hero Academia or One Piece? Or do you think it matters? Do you think it matters whether girl what girls like what boys like? It doesn't matter. I think so I think so too. I, I don't think it matters. I think good comics. Everyone can like com silly ducks. That's silly Captain America Silly Duck. Captain Silly Duck. Captain Silly Duck. I, I think that it doesn't matter. I think kids like good stories, any kind of stories. The thing that's that I think interesting is that Marvel and Disney, they, they make comics for kids. They try to, anyway. But My Hero Academia and One Piece are probably made for kids a little bit older than you, but you would rather read those comics. Uh-huh. Is that because you know how to read better, or why do you think that is? I actually don't like to read the comics because the comics are all backwards. Well, I would like to read them better if they were on my tablet, because there's an app to so you can read it on the tablet, and then they reverse it so it's like an American, and it's not all uh, very confusing. Like, that, well, you're talking... It makes more so sense. she's talking about the Shonen Jump app, where you read some of these comics. Yeah. And, and it doesn't... It, it's not backwards. Because I have this My Hero Academia comic that's completely backwards, and it, it's very hard to read. Now, you, you're interested... So interesting here is in the... Um, in the U.S., digital has been something that has struggled, but in Japan, a lot of people read their comics digitally. But you're saying in you Japan, they have COVID nineteen. Yes, they do. They they have that here in the U.S. and in China too. But oh. yeah, we don't like that, right? No. Yeah, I'm glad we can all laugh about that. Anyway, so this has been kind of an unfiltered, uncensored uh, interview about. Uh, well, we were going to talk about Black Widow, but we just talked about comics instead. Was that fun? And we talked about silly ducks. Don't forget about silly ducks. Captain, yes, Captain America duck. Captain silly duck. Captain silly duck. Okay. Don't want to use that America name in there. He's he fights for the whole world, right? Captain America Billy Bob silly duck. All right. Well, with that, uh, why don't you like, subscribe? You can get more content like this one where we will not explain Black Widow's history. Um, leave a comment below on what characters you'd like us to not explain in the future. Captain America, Billy Bob, Silly Duck says, quack, 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 subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're the new marketing. You're head of marketing for me. I love it. All right, well, thank you very much. Leave a comment below. Uh, upvote this because she loves to see your upvotes. Wait, wait don't forget. Um, my, uh, I talked about Roblox. My username on Roblox is... Oh, never mind. Bye-bye. Yeah, okay. We're... <laughs> <laughs> That's me waving correctly. We're not going to give out your username.
you know, kid protection and all the rest, right? Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Follow me on Twitter at Comic Purge, and thanks for listening, right? Thanks for listening. Uh-huh. All right. Cheers, everybody. I love silly dogs.